late September in Stuttgart. Trees are being felled to make way for the new railway station in the face of massive public protest. Opponents of the controversial project say it's too expensive and will damage the environment. But it's supported by the government and Germany's major railway operator, Deutsche Bahn. Veteran conservative politician Heiner Geisler was appointed to mediate the dispute. He's actually an advocate of civil disobedience. They can't go far enough. The laws must be obeyed. But civic protest is basic to democracy. Geisler is an experienced mediator, but he's also known for his willingness to take a stand. That gives him credibility, even with the project's opponents. I've known him since his Bundestag days. Willy Brandt called him the biggest rabble-rouser since Goebbels, with good reason. But he's different now, gone soft with age or maybe wiser. That's why everyone accepts him. He may be less of a firebrand these days, but he hasn't lost his edge. In the negotiations, he's been known to take a jab at the chairman of Deutsche Bahn. Those vending machines are a huge annoyance. We used to buy our tickets at the counter, but now we have to get them from the machine. So if you want to go someplace like Heilbronn, you run the risk of accidentally pushing the wrong button and ending up in Pforzheim. Irreverency has long been Geisler's trademark. As a student at a Catholic prep school, he planned to become a Jesuit priest, but he later realized he couldn't uphold the vow of obedience and abandoned his dream. Geisler has long been known as a political iconoclast. As general secretary of the Christian Democrats, his political career faltered due to disputes with Helmut Kohl, the party's leader at the time. I've always said we need to be able to express contrary points of view within the party. Freedom of speech, Geisler believes, is central to democracy. He won favor with the railway project's opponents by agreeing to a temporary construction stop. First of all, he's a political original. He embodies something that's quite well received by the public. He's played the role of dissident in his party, and that earned him a great deal of respect. Even today, he relishes the role of dissident. Three years ago, he came out in support of the leftist anti-globalization movement, Attac. For Geisler, freedom of opinion takes priority over party discipline. The liftoff is the best part, of course. And when the thermal conditions bring you close to a cliffside, or right over the top of the forest and the trees, which is a bit dangerous, of course. But it feels like you can fly like a bird. But during the Stuttgart negotiations, Geisler had to keep his feet on the ground. He finally decided to support the railway project, but demanded concessions from Deutsche Bahn. For Geisler, the protests show that politics today are taking a new form. We're about to enter the age of media democracy. With the internet, Facebook and blogs, tens of thousands of people will be organized with a single click of the mouse. They'll be responsible for the future development of our democracy, which won't be able to function in the same way it has with the past century. Geisler's solution hasn't brought the conflict to an end. The protests continue, and so does the renewed debate about the role of civic protest in a robust democracy.